What is going on guys, my name is James or Thanksia and welcome to another Minecraft mod installation tutorial video. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Chaos Staff mod and as always I'm installing this on a Mac, however wherever possible I will try and advise you PC guys as best I can. Okay, so we've got a fairly simple installation today for the Chaos Staff mod. You only actually need two things in order to get it to work. So the first of which are the actual files from the Chaos Staff forum page. The link to this page will be in the description below. And if you scroll down a little bit to sort of near the bottom, you'll see the red download button. And it's currently at version 1.2.5. So if we follow the ad fly, uh, just go and download that and stick that on your desktop. And the next thing that we will need is a copy of Mod Loader, which is you know, fairly standard for most Minecraft mods. So if you've never seen Mod Loader before, you can simply Google it and you'll be located or relocated to a page called Risugami's Mods. Now, um, oh, there's an advert popping up. So yeah, if you scroll down through Risugami's Mods, the first one that you will find is Mod Loader 1.2.5. So once you have downloaded this, just stick this also on your desktop. So yeah, it will look something like this when you are finished, you will have the Chaos Staff mod in a zip, and Mod Loader will also come in a zip, but um, unzip the Mod Loader, but do not touch the Chaos Staff mod, just leave it in its zip file. Okay, so it is probably best if you want to try this mod to make yourself a brand new fresh Minecraft client, um, however it's not essential if you want to play with this mod, but you know, for, for the sake of having a go and installing it for the first time, I highly recommend that you back up your world saves before you attempt this, otherwise you might lose all of your saves. So if you're on a Mac, the way to get to your Minecraft folder is to go into Applications, open in Finder, go to your name, go to Library, go to Application Support, and then go into your Minecraft folder and it will be located here, sort of at the bottom. Now, I have already cleaned mine out, but if you want to, all you can do is just locate them all and then move to trash. Um, incidentally for you PC guys, your Minecraft folder is found in your app data slash roaming folder, so that is where you will find yours. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually install Mod Loader. So we're going to go into our Minecraft file, we're going to go into the bin, and then we're going to go to the minecraft.jar. We are going to right click this and we're going to go to open with. Now I have an archive program called Springy and it is really really good if you're someone who plays with Minecraft mods a lot. Alternatively if you don't have this you can use the archive utility or you can rename the minecraft.jar minecraft.zip and it will unzip and allow you to add files into it. Okay, so I'm going to click on Springy here, and this is the inside of the Minecraft.jar. So what we're going to do is open up our mod loader folder. We'll see all of these class files here. Simply just take all of them and then drag them into the Minecraft.jar. It will ask you if you want to replace everything, and then just click on yes. Okay, so before we exit this Minecraft.jar, what we need to do is go down to the letter M and locate the meta-inf folder. And all we're going to do is delete this, and we must delete the meta-inf or the mod will not work. Okay, so now that is done, all we need to do is go back a screen into our original Minecraft folder. And now, because I have set up a fresh client, I will not yet have the mods folder until I run the game. So if you don't have that, very simple, just create a new folder and then name it all in small lettering, mods. So you might also have this folder if you have force updated your Minecraft, but if you haven't and you've deleted it and reinstalled it, then you won't. But yeah, just open up the mods folder and very simple, drag the Chaos Staff zip files into it. So yeah, that is it for the mod. It is now fully installed. So let us prove it by logging into Minecraft. And I'm going to make this a bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, so we're going to go into a creative world. Create new world, and then we're just going to take a look into our creative menu, and then I'm going to show you that the mod has worked. So if we scroll down to somewhere near the bottom, there we go. We have the chaos staff, and we also have the, the skull and the sweet roll and all that, but is there anything for me to fire it at? Uh, let's hope so. Yeah, some cows over there. So yeah, just to prove that everything has worked, let us head on over there, and... Um, there we go. I've disappeared a cow. And I'll do it one more time. And uh, there we go. I'll set him on fire and it's a skeleton. So yeah, anyway, that is how to install the Chaos Staff mod. I hope if you have a go at this, you really enjoy playing around with it. And yeah, as always, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope this was useful. Thanks and see ya.